Exploratory Research Definition, Example, Types, Steps, Advantages and Disadvantages In this video, you will learn What is exploratory research? Example of exploratory research Steps to conduct exploratory research Types of exploratory research Characteristics of exploratory research When to do exploratory research Advantages of exploratory research Disadvantages of exploratory research What is exploratory research? Exploratory research is a methodological approach aimed at examining research questions that have not been thoroughly investigated before. Is often qualitative and primary in nature. Seeks to uncover insights, though it can also be quantitative when conducted with a large sample size. Often referred to as interpretive research or a grounded theory approach due to its flexible and open-ended nature. Example of exploratory research A study into the role of social networking sites as an effective marketing communication channel. An assessment of the role of corporate social responsibility on consumer behavior in pharmaceutical industry in the USA. An investigation into the ways of improvement of quality of customer services within hospitality sector in London. Steps to conduct exploratory research. Step 1. Identify the problem. Step 2. Formulate research questions. Step 3. Design the methodology. Step 4. Gather data and analyze findings. Step 5. Develop avenues for further research. Let's study them in detail. Step 1. Identify the problem. The starting point is recognizing a general area of interest or a problem that needs investigation. This initial exploration might involve brainstorming or reviewing current trends in your field. Step 2. Formulate research questions. Although exploratory research doesn't rely on fixed questions, creating broad questions to shape your initial exploration is beneficial. These questions should be open-ended, encouraging exploration of different facets of the topic. Step 3. Design the methodology. Go ahead with the data collection methods that align with your research questions and the required data type. Exploratory research frequently utilizes qualitative methodologies, although some studies may also integrate quantitative approaches. Step 4. Gather data and analyze findings. This stage involves collecting data through your chosen methods, interviews, focus groups, surveys, etc. Exploratory data analysis is iterative, meaning you may refine your research questions and data collection methods based on emerging insights. Step 5. Develop avenues for further research. Exploratory research seeks to spark ideas and lay the groundwork for more targeted inquiries. Using the insights you've gathered, craft more precise research questions, outline variables, and create hypotheses to be examined in future research endeavors. Types of exploratory research Secondary research Case studies Surveys Focus groups In-depth interviews Let's study them in detail. Secondary research This includes looking at existing literature, studies, reports, and other data sources to learn about the topic and find possible research questions. It's helpful to grasp the basics before diving into more detailed research. Case studies A thorough examination of one person, group, event, or organization related to the research topic. Case studies offer detailed information and insights into the complexities of a situation. Surveys Exploratory surveys often use open-ended questions to collect participants' experiences, opinions, and thoughts. While these surveys may not represent the entire population statistically, they provide useful initial information and can pinpoint areas for more investigation. Focus groups Focus groups involve having a small group of people talk with a moderator to develop ideas, discuss emerging themes, and understand each other's views on the research topic. 
They allow for interaction and show common experiences among participants. In-depth interviews. Individual interviews involve having one-on-one -on -one conversations with participants to explore their experiences and gather detailed information about their thoughts, emotions, and actions related to the research topic. These interviews allow for asking follow-up questions and getting clear, detailed responses, which helps deepen our understanding of each person's viewpoint. Characteristics of exploratory research Unstructured in nature Exploratory research doesn't stick to strict, set questions or ways of collecting information. Instead, it uses flexible methods like focus groups or in-depth interviews to gather a wide range of info and find new ideas. Focuses on what rather than why. Exploratory research is different from explanatory research. While explanatory research tries to figure out why things happen, exploratory research focuses on understanding what's happening. It looks at a topic's main parts, features, or experiences. Usually qualitative, but sometimes quantitative. Exploratory research mostly relies on qualitative data such as observations, interviews, and open-ended surveys. Yet, it can also use quantitative data sometimes. For example, big surveys with open-ended questions can serve exploratory goals. Low-cost and interactive. Exploratory research methods are usually affordable. They often involve talking directly with participants, which lets researchers change their methods as they learn new things. Time-consuming at times. While exploratory research is cost-effective, it can be time-consuming as well. Analyzing open-ended data, conducting multiple interviews, and sorting through qualitative information may take longer than working with structured data sets. Lays the groundwork for future research. Exploratory research doesn't aim to give final answers but to lead to more research. It assists researchers in forming questions, finding important factors, and making guesses to be tested in more detailed studies. When to use exploratory research. Exploratory research is often used and the issue you're studying is new or when the data collection process is challenging for some reason. You can use this type of research if you have a general idea or a specific question that you want to study but there is no pre-existing knowledge or paradigm with which to study it. Advantages of exploratory research. Lower costs of conducting the study flexibility and adaptability to change. Exploratory research is effective in laying the groundwork that will lead to future studies. Exploratory studies can potentially save time by determining at the earlier stages the types of research that are worth pursuing. Disadvantages of exploratory research. Inclusive nature of research findings. Exploratory studies generate qualitative information and interpretation of such type of information is subject to bias. These types of studies usually make use of a modest number of samples that may not adequately represent the target population. Accordingly, findings of exploratory research cannot be generalized to a wider population. Findings of such type of studies are not usually useful in decision-making in a practical level. Thank you for watching.